understand I have a right to freedom of press, ma'am. You do not have the right to film in this building. I do. This is a public building. Did you pay $5,000 and tell this is, you apartment? <laughs> you're talking about for commercial film. Again, you need education. Go get the town attorney, please. You're obviously, you're going to need some complaints. Turn off the Don't phone. touch my phone. Turn it off. Don't I have a body camera on too. Don't touch my phone. Turn what are you guys off. doing? You're this is not, against the law. Give me your license. Sir. You requested to speak with a supervisor? Correct, sir. Okay. Yeah. What do you want to talk to me about? Um, Officer Califf. Okay. Completely unhinged and out of control. Okay. Completely. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today, we are at the town hall here in Orangetown, New York. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants respect our rights and treat us with respect. This is a two for one, guys. This is not only a town hall, but a police department here in Orangetown. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's see how they do. Orangetown Town Hall, Supervisor Roger Pellegrini. Sir, what are you doing? Excuse me? What are you doing? What am I doing? Yeah. I, I don't, I'm going to go over there because I don't want to yell back and forth with you. I just want to know what, what you're filming. Yeah, no, I'm just filming the Town Hall here. Oh, I'm an independent journalist gathering content for okay. a story. Okay. All right. Thank okay. you. Thank you. May I get your name so I know who I spoke with? Liz. Liz? Thanks, Liz. You're Hi, are you filming? Hi, ma'am. How are you? Good. How are you? Are you filming? Um, who are you first? Who are you first? No, no, no. Hi, who are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, you're in my building. Who are you? I'm in your building. This is the town of Orangetown's building. This is yours? This is the town of Orangetown's building. I work here. Oh, okay. This is not your building. You don't own it, right? I'm sorry, are you filming here? Do You, you don't own the building. The people own the building, ma'am. This is a public building. And Respectfully. you need to have... Do you have a permit to film here? Do I have a permit? Yeah. I do not have a permit, no. Okay, so in order to form it, film in this building, you need a permit. That's not true. That's not true. Oh, who who are you? Yeah, really. Who are you? So I know who I spoke with? I want to know how come you think you don't need a permit. Is your name on your shirt? I can't really see. You work for the Please supervisor's shut that office? Down because you're not allowed to film here without a permit. Ma'am, why are you, are you becoming doing, so hostile? Help you? How you doing, sir? Officer Kayla, Orange County Police Department. How you doing? What's going on today? Nothing, just filming. Okay. He doesn't have a permit. I don't, I don't need a permit. I'm going to ask you to leave. I'd like I, that shut this off, is, so I don't want exits anything this way, on you can turn it off, or I can take it from you. Don't touch me. If, you, if you you, are you ordering me to leave? I'm ordering you to leave. So I you, want that okay. filming, whatever's on his turn phone, it off. shut off. I don't, I'm door. walking out. Turn it off. Um, this is not against phone. the law. This is a constitutionally protected activity. Turn it I'm off. I'm trying to. You're trying. Turn I'm, off the phone. I am trying to walk past you to turn leave. Turn off the phone. I want to make it clear. I'm trying to walk past you to leave, because you're obviously, you're going to need some complaints. Turn off the phone. Don't touch my phone. Turn it off. Don't, I have a body camera on, too. Don't touch my phone. Turn what are you guys off. doing? You're this is not. against the law. Give me your license. This is against the law. License. This is against the law, sir. I'm on your ID. This is a, how, what crime have I committed? I can ask you for your ID. You're, you're, and you're I, in I, a government you facility. Can, you can ask me Where's for my ID, ID and I can decline. Where's your ID? I'm going to decline to give you my ID. It's my right. Oh, you are? You can't it's my right. A government facility. Um, do you have reasonable articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime, sir? You don't have a permit you to fill in this building. That's not a crime. Facility. That doesn't mean this is a public This is a public building. Go get your supervisor, please. I'm asking for your supervisor. I'm going to wait right here. I'm sure your policy states that if I ask for your supervisor, you have to get me one. So I'm, can you get me a supervisor? Because you're going to make a big mistake here. What, what's my mistake? Your mistake is you're violating my rights. I'm and, not violating your rights. And I'm going to hold in, you accountable. You are in a government building. You just grab, that doesn't matter. This is a public you're building. Yes, I am. This is a public building. A I'm a journalist. I have freedom of, I have freedom so of like press. Said, you, want, you want our supervisor? Yes, I want your supervisor. Right, we'll come down to the police department side and we'll bring our supervisor. Great. Tell him not to touch me. Don't touch don't me touch again. Him. You touch my fan. You touch my camera. You need to turn it off. No, I don't. You need a permit to film in this. Building. No, I do not. Yes, yes you do. do. No, I do not. Yes, you do. It's is that a law? 
No, it's town ordinance. It's not a law. It's a town, town code. Ordinance. It's not a law. Where's you the code? Want to go get the town attorney. Go you get him. I'm sure he'll. I'm sure he'll educate you, ma'am. If he's if he's I'm good sorry. at what his job, I'm sure he'll Are educate you. Trying you to insult me? No, I'm you not trying to I insult to you. Educated. Yeah, because you obviously I don't know freedom of press. Permits. I issue the permits in this building and the town of Orange County. You obviously don't understand. I, I have a right to freedom of press, ma'am. You do not have the right to film in this. Building. I do. This is a public building. Did you pay five thousand dollars? This is. You a <laughs> you're talking about for commercial film again. You need education. Go get the town attorney, please. You're talking about commercial filming. I'm not going to have you dismiss me like I'm some peon. Um, okay. Ma'am, you've been treating me bad. You've no, grabbed my you're, camera. You're please get me a supervisor, sir. So come with me to the side and we'll get supervisor. Please get me a supervisor. This is the town hall side. Come with me to the police department side. We'll get a supervisor. Don't touch me ever again. Please excuse me. Get out of my way. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Sorry, sorry. about that. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, I don't trust this guy behind me. He's right, a so loose cannon. Walk in front of us, then. I'll loose walk cannon. You. He can walk in front. Loose cannon. Uneducated. Come on, come on. What are you in training, man? Like I don't understand. What's wrong Why with is you? He in training? Where do you I, because the he's in because he he doesn't understand that I have the right to film. Number one. Number two. He puts his hands on my equipment, which he cannot do. Right, but you don't have the right to film inside for no legitimate reason, which is what he was trying to explain to you. That's no, what no, we're no. trying to figure out. First what of all, you're no one before. Like, exactly. I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story. I'm working on a story at City Hall. I have to go see the town clerk right. to do a Freedom of Information Act request. Okay. But you don't do that at the town clerk, though. That goes to the records department. The no, I'm I'm talking about I'm not talking about for the so police department. In, so. I'm not talking I'm not talking about for the police department, sir. I'm talking okay. about for the town. Okay. For the town. So that's why I need to see the town clerk. Okay. But escalating the situation like that—that's not cool. Grabbing my camera, you know, ordering me to leave a public building. You have no authority to order me to leave a public building. I'm conducting business, constitutionally protected business, mm -hmm. and I'm getting public services here. Just because I have a camera in my hand doesn't mean anything. I have the freedom of press. I'm an independent journalist. Right. But and if would somebody you... would have talked to me instead of trying to grab my phone and order me to leave a building, right. they would know all of these things. That's right. why de-escalation is so and, important. And I'm sitting here talking to you. Yeah, and that's right. why I appreciate you for doing that. Right. Can I get your name and badge number? Yeah, Makara 218. Makara? Mm -hmm. 218, thank you. Wait Ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, but I mean it's public. But I, I mean I'm not I trying to. I'm not no, trying no, to. It is. I don't. I don't want to put anybody that doesn't. Wow, that's insane. You guys have no right to try and grab my phone. You have no right. I have the right to well, record. I there, so I don't know what happened. Okay, well that's. You know it's I mean? it's like, on it's on wanna, it's on body camera. I don't speak on that because I, I it's on body there. camera, right? And it's on this camera, right? You tried to grab my phone, not you. Mm -hmm. When I say Generally you, I meant general okay. the police, right? I don't even remember his name at the moment, but okay. he tried to take my phone from me. Okay. What authority does he have to do that? Well, that's why I said I wasn't there. I don't know, so I'd rather not speak on okay. that. Okay. Well, that's why we're gonna get a supervisor, so, right? Yeah. Yep. He went okay. in to get him now. Yeah, no problem. He's going inside here. I want a supervisor. Wow. That's crazy. That woman who works in the supervisor's office needs an ed needs to be educated because she's out of control. Completely out of control. $5,000 to film inside of City Hall? Are you kidding me? This is our building, but do you see the mentality? You see the mentality, right guys? The mentality is it's their building. What are you doing in my building? And this is why I do what I do and why I'm passionate about what I do. It's our building. This is we the people's building. They use it to serve us. They're public servants. I try to be nice. I try to be cordial. Seems like I keep getting my rights violated. Keep getting treated like dirt. 
like I'm beneath them. Ridiculous. Sergeant Boiza is on his way. Boiza? Yeah. Okay. So. And what was the other officer's name? Caliph. Caliph? Yeah. Thank you. Do you want me to hang out with you until he comes or? No, that's no. fine. I don't need, no. Right. Um, nothing's going to happen. Come I just wandering away from you. No, no, no. I'll, I'll be here. <laughs> I, I'll, I didn't think you were leaving. I'm not leaving. <laughs> I didn't think I'm leaving. not leaving. So, but yeah, no, I'll, I'll wait. No problem. Okay. And then after I'm done talking to him, I'll conduct whatever business I have left and then we'll be good. Sounds good. All right. Um, if that other female comes back, I would just come get me. And yeah, I'm just going to ignore her. I'm just going to ignore her. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with her, honestly. All right. All right. All right. Good morning. All right. My name is Mike Boyza. I'm the sergeant here at Orangetown PD. What was your last name, sir? Boyza, B-O-Y-S-A. Boyza. Yes. Nice to meet you, sir. You, re you requested to speak with the supervisor? Correct, sir. Okay. Yeah. What do you want to talk to me about? Um, Officer Califf. Okay. Completely unhinged and out of control. Okay. Completely. All right. Grabbed, attempted to take my phone from me. All right. Like, when I say attempted, grabbed my phone and I had to wrestle it out of his hands. Okay. Um, ordered me to leave a public building while I'm conducting lawful business. Okay. And um, just pro completely unprofessional and, and, and unaware of the freedom of uh, the freedom of press that we have in this country. I told right. him, you know, no de-escalation um, technique whatsoever to try and figure out who I was, what I was doing here. Just allowed uh, an employee from the supervisor's office to put a battery in his back. And like I said, immediately, I'm ordering you to leave this building right now. Didn't even ask who I was, what I was doing. N no type of, um, you know prerequisite questions as to figure out what my purpose is this is our building this is the town building you need a permit to film again all things that a police officer i don't know if he's new i don't know you know if he's been here for 20 years i don't know but the point is is that a police officer should know they should be properly trained not to put your hands on on law-abiding citizens let me see your id give me your id give me your id i said sir do you have reasonable articulable suspicion that i've committed a crime or I'm going to commit a crime. I don't need that. You know, these things concern me, sir. These, okay. these, these behaviors by law enforcement who took an oath to uphold the Constitution really concern me. And I want to file a formal complaint against this officer. Okay. Do you want to provide me with your ID? I can give you my name, sure. Okay. All right. What's your first name, sir? My first name is Sean, S-E-A-N. S-E-A-N. Okay. And your last name? Reyes, R-E-Y-E-S. Do you want to give me your date of birth? No. It's okay. Right. How about a home address? I'll give you my I'll give you my cell phone number sure, so you can reach number. out. Cell phone number. Uh, I'll give you my email as well. Sure. What's your email? Long Island Audit at gmail dot com. Okay. Um. All right. So right now you're telling me you want to file a formal complaint. Correct. Okay. I'll get the paperwork for you. Um. At this point, do you want to tell me why you came to the building today? Well, sure. I mean, uh, it's not a secret. All you right. know, I'm an independent journalist, just like okay. I told anybody else who who took the time to ask me. Right. I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story, doing some Freedom of Information Act requests with the town clerk. Okay. That's it. And, and documenting my experience to disseminate to the public. That's all. Peacefully. Okay. No, no issues. This is a public building. These are public areas of the building. All right. Uh, so independent journalist, right? Correct. And you're uh, gathering information? Correct. As far as the layout of the building, you know, public records requests. One of the most important components of the whole campaign was to angels. Angels Honestly, it shouldn't matter. It's just a public building, okay. you know. But yeah, no, I, I, mean, I understand you just want information. You to sure. information. Sure. Okay, I'll be back shortly. All right. Hello, Mr. Rez. Okay, so I have, I have a couple of forms for you here. Okay. Civilian complaint against a police employee. So... I'm gonna give you a pen here. Do you have a pen on here or no? Um, no. Uh, okay. You know what? Can I? I'm gonna fill this out. Can you give me your email or internal affairs email, and I can email it over. Uh, and uh, and I'll definitely follow back up on it. Would you be able to bring this original back here? Could you fill it out and bring it back to the police station? Sure. Yeah, that's not a problem. You, will you notarize it and then uh, give it back to me? Uh, give me a copy so I have a. You know what I mean? Like I have a signed copy that you received it. I'll look into that whether or not I get, can give you an actual copy of it. But what's gonna happen is you'll fill it out when you come back here. Um, I'll sign the bottom, mm -hmm. confirming it. Okay, but we want to keep the original. No, yeah, but I would just need a copy. That's all. And I'll check on that at the time that you come back with it. Okay. Okay. Great. So I'll right, fill so it out. Hold on to these forms yep. here. Any other questions for me today? Nope, that's it. Okay. And I asked to speak with uh, Sergeant Boisa. Boisa, yes. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. 
All right, so we're gonna do our foil request. We're gonna be filling out this civilian complaint. He is gonna check on if I can get a, uh, a copy of it. Why wouldn't I be able to? Civilian complaint form, we're gonna fill it out. I wanna to speak to this woman's boss. This is the supervisor's office here. It said she worked for the supervisor. Hi, ma'am, how are you? Um, can, can I speak to a supervisor here? Somebody in charge? Regarding? Regarding a complaint. Regarding, um, I don't know her name. I think she didn't give it to me, but uh, a woman came out and uh, was very rude. Um, you know, I would go as far as say unhinged, you know, yelling at me, had had a police officer try and take my camera from me. I have freedom of press. And I told, no one even asked me what I was doing first. They just said, you can't film in here without a permit. Do you have $5,000? You know, just escalated the situation. I'm an independent journalist exercising my freedom of press right i don't need a permit which i tried to explain to her but again her behavior and the way she conducted herself was completely out of line so as a member of the public i wanted to speak to somebody and did you talk to the police well she doesn't work for the police so I, there's a police officer who, who i'm going to file a complaint against too but she didn't she doesn't work for the police she works for the supervisor's office excuse me are you filming yes i am right now oh, okay. yeah yeah Mm hmm okay. so yeah no she i saw her jacket said supervisor's office so that's why i'm here to try and to try and speak with i don't know who she, her, what her name exactly was but because she wouldn't give it to me okay. but um I'll yeah i want to find she said that she writes the complaints so okay, i mean so she writes the part she writes the she hands out the permit so whoever that is that's who she is okay okay why don't you go outside and have a seat sure i'll wait no problem Hello. Hi. I just been advised that the police are handling it. So. So the police are going to handle the complaint um, against so somebody. So that's all who I can say. So have the a good day. The oh. police are going to handle it. Okay. Well, the people will handle it. Well, you see, no accountability here. No transparency. None whatsoever. No accountability. No transparency. Go figure. So I guess we got to take it into we the people's hands and um, hold them accountable ourselves through redressing our grievances to our government. Completely unacceptable, completely unacceptable her behavior and even more unacceptable that they will not come out and own it. Completely unacceptable. They won't come out and own it and apologize for her behavior, have some accountability. Let's do our FOIL request at the town clerk's office right here. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you, sir? Um, just wanted to do a uh, Freedom of Information Act request. Uh, sure, do you have the... Um... I don't have the form, no. Okay. Don't tell me. Excuse me? Uh, are you filming me? Please don't do that. Sir, I'm just... I'm just... permission to do it. Okay, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to conduct business. That's all I'm trying to do. That's it. Conduct it when that's closed. So because I'm filming, you won't help me? I'm telling you, I'm asked, I didn't give you permission to film me. So please turn it off. So you work for the public. I don't need your permission. I'm just here gathering content for a story. There's nothing nefarious going on here. I just want to conduct my business, be on my way. There's cameras all over the place. I didn't give you permission to film me. That's for the safety. So, okay, so this is for my safety. What, what am I going to do? I don't. What am I going to do? Exactly. The argument goes both ways. I'll see if the form prints out. Normally, it's done online. Um, if not, you can really. There's not a form. It doesn't. Yeah. It. It's just. It's a law. So I. I could just put on a blank piece. You want to hand me a blank piece of paper? I'll take so care of it that way. It's not a big deal. I'll write down all the pertinent information and uh, I'll give it right back to you. Thank you. Because the, the form itself, it's an online form. It doesn't print well. You okay. I mean? No problem. Not a big deal.
I, I do these a lot, so I should be able, I'll, I know what to put down that you guys will need. Okay. Got you. Yeah, so um, I, I put my company name, um, the email you can send the records to, and the records I'm requesting is full name, uh, title, and salary of all town hall employees, and as well as a copy of the ordinance oh, regarding sorry. filming in public. Okay? So, yeah, there so is this one. going to go to a couple of departments. Oh, no, sure. Um, There's a time frame by law. Thank you. Um, so it's going to go to personnel. Mm -hmm. um, it'll go to police because they have to speak to personnel directly. And it's going to Carmel Riley, who works in the supervisor's office. She is the filmmaker. Okay. Manager. Let me ask you a question. So if can I put um, a request for the police department here, and then you could just, so I don't have to go over there and make a request? No, no, I'll, I'll send okay. them to it. Cool. All right, thank you. Yeah, I just want the um, disciplinary file. Disciplinary file for Officer Califf. Okay. Yeah, so, just a signed copy, and a, it would be great. Okay. You want to put a phone number here or no? No, just the email's fine. We can oh. communicate via there, via there, and then just. Um, oh, okay, and then also the attorney's office. Come here. Sure. Everybody gets. Whoever it. needs it. All right. Cool. Let me just stamp it. Thank you. Right Thank you, sir. All right. Here's your copy. Thank you, sir. And I'll send it. Well, I'm going to attach this, and I'll. Send it. I'm going to copy CC you on this. You'll see who gets it. I Perfect. Know what department's got it? Thank you, sir. Appreciate your time. And Thank they you. will answer, answer you directly. Okay, great. Thank you, sir. All Appreciate right, it. Have a good one. Be safe. You too. All right, guys. So we just got our Freedom of Information Act request done, and um, we're going to be submitting the formal complaint to the police department here. Hello again, Mr. Reyes. Hey, Sergeant. Here's the. Uh, Written statement. Okay. A little sloppy. All right. It's basically a little summary of everything I told you already. Um, can you, can I get a card? Uh, I can email it to you. Yes, I'll give you my email. Video, we'll be in touch. Will do, Sarge. Thanks. Okay. Have a good day. Excuse me. All right, guys. So we uh, did our FOIL request. We um, just submitted a formal complaint against Officer Califf. Requested his disciplinary record. You know, we'll get out of here soon. Just uh, take a little walk around. Just to prove the point, and we'll be getting out of here. All right, guys, so we're just getting out of the town hall here in Orangetown, New York. 100% unequivocal, big time fail here by both the police department and the town hall employees. First, the unidentified woman who works for the supervisor's office, completely unhinged, unprofessional. I'm just gonna say it, she was a Karen, 100%. So uneducated on the public's rights and so unwilling to learn, but that's why we do this, so that she will. And then when I try and file a complaint against her, redress my government, the supervisor's office says the police are handling it. She didn't break any laws, why would the police be handling it? I want them to handle it, the supervisor's office. But of course they won't, I did, file a formal complaint against Officer Califf, who tried to steal my phone from me, 
physically grab my phone and I had to rip it out of his hands. That happens to me way too much, fellow patriots, way too much. Who do they think they are? What authority do they have over us law-abiding citizens to just go and try and grab and steal our camera equipment, our property, to order us to give up our ID when we have not committed any crime, when they do not understand that they need reasonable articulable suspicion to demand ID, or that I have to have committed a crime for them to trespass me from public. Completely unacceptable behavior. That's why we filed the formal complaint. I know it will go nowhere because that's where all complaints go. They've investigated themselves and they found that there was no wrongdoing. There has to be some change here. I'm so upset right now. This audit really has me irate at this point because I'm tired of it, I'm tired of it. But this is my job. This is my job to expose the tyrants and the public servants who do not deserve to hold their positions. They are here to serve us, to provide us services. I treat everybody with respect. I expect to be treated with respect. If you would like to redress your government, all information will be in the description below. As always, guys, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.